morning guys it's tuesday no it's wednesday i'm still very groggy because i just woke up but i um the cable guy is going to get here the theater was gracious enough to let me spearhead a project to update the wi-fi at all of the properties um because that is a uh, area of minor expertise for me um i worked in the technology sector uh, before I was pursuing acting full-time. So, when I say technology, I mean printers. Like, I fixed printers for a living. So I implemented a mesh network at their biggest house because uh, just one router wouldn't cover all of the different spaces. So they have four different routers at that house that all communicate with each other and then broadcast, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think all of the other properties at this point have been upgraded. This is the, the sixth property to be assessed and uh, the cable guy's gonna be here any minute. The house that I'm living at is getting getting upgraded last. I think they should be here any minute or within the next four hours, really. It's a window, it's a cable company. So of course it's not gonna be any minute, but it could be any minute. We'll see. This is a long-winded intro to my morning. Okay, bye. Two hours later. So yeah, we're still waiting on the internet guy. I'm about to call AT&T to see if he's coming. Uh, because they were supposed to be here from uh, between 8 and noon uh, but I did tell them I had a hard out at noon because we have a show today uh, at 1 o'clock and I have to be at the theater at 12.30 at the latest but I like to get there at, at noon because I have I like to eat lunch at the theater because the dinner theater is gracious enough to let us eat their food which is nice. I'm going to call AT&T because I did tell them I had a hard out at noon um, but I don't know if they conveyed that to the service tech. As a former service technician, I understand that not everything always gets conveyed. So I'm gonna call AT&T AT right now. I just accidentally hung up on AT&T while I was trying to enter the account number. That's where I'm at today. I think it's hilarious that every time you call a customer service representative phone line, it says, uh, due to unusually high call volumes, uh, we are experiencing unusually long wait times or something like that, but it's It's always the message that comes through. It's never like oh hey by the way short wait times today So after 37 minutes on the phone with at and turns out my appointment somehow got canceled in their system and they don't have a way to prioritize appointments, so now my appointment's getting pushed back an entire full week again. Which is very disappointing. I'm very upset about it. But I don't have time to be mad about it because I have to go to the theater right now because we're doing a matinee today. Because it's matinee Wednesday. <laughs> one of the few breaks I get on stage uh, during this show. Uh, I just got changed into the costume for the next scene and I have just enough time to tune my guitar and to record this video, but I don't have much time after that, so I gotta go. So my brother gave me one of the guitars that he built last time I was in Hawaii visiting. Uh, it's actually pr probably my favorite of the guitars that he built, uh, but uh, it's got a pickup, uh, it's got a floating pickup attached to the pick guard and um, that pickup right now is getting in the way of the strings when I'm uh, playing up the neck um, and really uh, inhibiting some of my playing, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm taking it to Sam Ash right now. I'm in the parking lot of Sam Ash and uh, getting this bad boy set up. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. What's up kids? It's Thursday, just woke up. As you can see from my incredible hair, I've been working on it all night, thank you for asking. Gotta drive Jenny to work because we are currently a one car family because we live in New York and we don't need a car. Fortunately, my mom was gracious enough to let us borrow her car while she's not using it because she's in Hawaii. I'm excited because my dad's coming today. He's driving down from the Detroit area where I grew up to come see the show, bringing his buddy Steve Jones, who was like the coolest guy, looked up to that to him so much because he was a Power Ranger. I don't remember the details as to like how and why he was a Power Ranger. Pictures of him as a Power Ranger that were on our fridge growing up. I know he's an actor. I know he's in the Chicago area, but I don't really know the rest of that. I'm also really excited to see my dad, and I'm glad that he gets to come down and see the show. All right, I think Jenny's just about ready for me to drive her to work, so I should probably go. Oh, but I also, the reason I need the car today is because we purged last night, and 
we have to I have to bring all these all this stuff to Salvation Army and sell some stuff and it's gonna be an adventure because now we don't have as much stuff to bring back to New York which is real nice Gucci <laughs> okay bye <laughs> yeah, but it didn't taste like an onion. Alright, so first we're heading to Goodwill, uh, and then we're heading to the bookstore to see if I can sell some books and puzzles. I don't know why I'm not just donating them to Goodwill, to be honest. Not gonna make any money off of this, but whatever. Oh, and then I'm gonna go drop some recycling. It's, it's an exciting day. My dad gets here in like an hour and a half, so that is an exciting day. So I gotta be quick. Bye. Ballers. Look who came out to see the show. What's up? <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, letting us come. <laughs> yeah. In the Jurassic household, these nasty tacos from Jack in the Box are a delicacy. Ghosts. <laughs> you gonna see some ghosts? Yeah. We're actually it's gonna get spoopy. We're just gonna go see where they start all meat. <laughs> it's meat? Yeah. They're the meat catacombs. The meatacombs. <laughs> yeah. If you say catacombs, people assume I saw as above, so below. I know what the catacombs are like. We're gonna see walls lined with skulls. <laughs> Cults are down there. They meet and do virgin sacrifices. I mean. Who's to say those things don't happen Who's here? Who's to say? Who's to say? To the meat gods. Okay, we're gonna go to the catacombs now. Bye! Oh, you beat me to it. Not good. Going into Tomlinson Hall. Tomlinson Hall. I think it's right through this door. Hello, right welcome. So none of us can remember where we parked. I did there. Nope, but we'll, we'll find it. It's 
it's, it's an adventure, right? Yeah. We got scoots, sun's out, it's windy. Wait. It's a good day to be lost. We found it! Heather was right, I was wrong. Bye! Editing this vlog and I realized I never ended it. I didn't do an outro. So this is the outro that I'm gonna do right now. It was great having my dad and Steve Jones come see the show, come visit. It was great having Heather out here. Uh, and, you know, I just wanna take this time to thank them so much for coming out. To tell them to chase their dreams and to say cheers. <laughs>